Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Jurassic World Evolution on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right, so some of you guys may recall uh, that we did a series with this game back uh, when it first came out uh, in summer 2018, I believe. So that was, good God, about a year and a half ago. And uh, we're returning to it uh, because there was a new expansion, a DLC, that released about two months ago, back in December, uh, called Return to Jurassic Park. And this was, I think, the third expansion that released. Uh, but this is the first one that really piqued my interest because I love the original Jurassic Park movie. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we wanted to check it out. Unfortunately, we've been busy over the last couple months, so that's why we're, we're covering this, you know, two months after the DLC came out. Uh, but, yeah, we did want to uh, try it out. Uh, so before we jump into it, I did want to let you guys know that the... Uh, the DLC is very, you know, linear and story focused. Uh, there's lots of cutscenes and uh, uh, lots of like missions. That's kind of very mission based. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different uh, than the last series that we did, where it was kind of more a little bit more open. We kind of got to build the parks a little bit more how we how we wanted to. Uh, but it, it does seem like it's pretty good though. Uh, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. They have a hell of a lot of DLC for the game. They do. I got the Raptor Squad skin collection. With blue. Uh, we don't have any of the other DLC, guys. And the butt face platypus. Yeah, we don't have the herbivore dinosaur pack or the carnivore dinosaur pack. We don't have anything, guys. Just this one. Uh, but I don't think you can use a lot of those with the Return to Jurassic Park because it has its own, like, like its own buildings, its own dinosaurs. Everything's, like, you know, specific for this, uh, uh, this campaign. But uh, let's go and hop into it, guys. And yes, we're gonna start a new game. I did, uh, I did kind of play about an hour uh, of this, of this, uh, you know, campaign, just to kind of refamiliarize myself with the game because I haven't played it since we ended that campaign back in uh, 2018. So just kind of got a bit of a refresher. Yeah, just try to you know refamiliarize myself with the the controls and stuff. This is so cool! It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like, seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating. Uh until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, Perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. 
What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then, we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well, you, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? All right, guys, I think we can finally talk. <laughs> so the idea behind this is that uh, the, you know, original uh, cast, all the original cast, uh, with the exception of, you know, Dr. Hammond's character, because, uh, or actor, because, you know, he passed away since then. Uh, but, you know, we got, uh, you know, Jeff Goldblum back as Ian Malcolm. Uh, what's his name? Sam uh, Neill. Sam Neill as uh, Dr. Grant, I think Alan Grant, I believe is his name. Yeah. And then uh, Laura Dern. Lord Dern as Ellie Sand Sadler, something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen Dress Park, guys. A long time. But yeah, the uh, original voice actors returning, original characters returning to Jurassic Park, and they're going to help uh, fix it and uh, make things better so we don't have uh, the mistakes that they had the last time. <laughs> Dinosaurs uh, munching on people. Exactly. We'll I keep bet them, there's going to be just a little We'll bit keep them munching on dinos. That's how I do anyway. All right, so we got our first mission, guys, uh, and that is to construct an arrival helipad connected to the PATH network. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, so I believe that's in, not enclosures, but operations. And it is right here. All right, so where should we put this, Jinx? Maybe sure. up here somewhere? Put it, like, right up here, perhaps? Or we could even move it over here. That looks like a good spot. You like this spot better? All right, we'll put it right here, then. All right, beautiful. And that's expensive. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we've got, like, $2.7 million. Dollars. <laughs> uh, and it's it's safer, Jinx, if you land it on a helipad. Uh, so now we need to get the ranger out, boss. And again, they're, they're going to interrupt us a lot, guys. Um, you know, I did a little test on this one, and, and they do. They are very chatty. Uh, so we can expect that. I guess we can just place this one right here. I'm going to see if I can't place it where I don't need to build anything. Any uh, roads. Let's see if that works or not. All right, so now we need to connect this one with the path. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm excited to return to this game. I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. And it was also our most successful Let's Play on our channel ever. ever. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's a year and a half ago, it's still our most successful Let's Play that we've ever had. I think it's closing on 300,000 views, which technically uh, Seven Days to Die still, or not Seven Days to Die, Ark still technically has more views, but that one's also like way older. Uh, so, I mean, that's from what, 2016 or something like that. Apparently dinosaurs are universally loved. Yeah, everybody loves dinosaurs, man. You nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again, so I've returned. Reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Competence, however, is... is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Prepared and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. Alright, so because the power is down, uh, we weren't able to auto-assign these guys to fix this. We have to do it ourselves. That's okay, I like playing as the rangers. But this was one of the coolest aspects of this game. You get to drive around. Like velociraptors on the loose. Yes, there are <laughs> velociraptors in the loose. Now, a lot of things have changed and been added to the game, guys, since we uh, played it. Uh, and that's not just from this expansion. Uh, so that's just from, like, free patches. Uh, so, for instance, 
the you'll notice that we have a condition for our uh, ranger team here with them sitting at 100 percent right now rangers can be attacked and uh let's go through here yeah so rangers can be attacked and you see how when i hit that which i did on purpose of course guys because i'm trying to show you <laughs> of course then when we hit that you can see our condition going down here uh so when you're attacked the way to get rid of them i think it's those flares all right so they, they got look at the the jurassic uh, park Velociraptor pen, Jinx. That's awesome, right? It's From the movie? Tiny. You know, I was reluctant to come back here for for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but... Uh... What of Dr. Grant? He and I are a team. Too thick and thin, you know? Yes. 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 Still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good, I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. But yeah, it's, the same one from the movie, and I felt like the one in the movie was really small. I know, that's, that's kind of cool that they I... put the raptors in that little cage. No wonder they're trying to escape mm -hmm. all the goddamn time. All right, so let's go ahead and I think I could have done this this way. Uh, let's get whatever that thing is they wanted us to research. It is enclosures. Look at hey, dinosaur guy. They got the dinosaur guy. A little, uh, was DNA. it Mr. DNA or something like that? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and research these electri electrified fences. Uh, but again, this is a uh, the campaign is very linear, guys. It's very much uh, directed, and, and again, I've only played about an hour, but it seems like that was pretty consistent through the entire hour, hour that I played. It just kind of directed you through the whole time. And we need to get an emergency bunker so that people can hide from these raptors that are everywhere. Raptors are threat. Right. They're right, going so I to think eat it's somebody. in. I actually don't know where the emergency bunker is. Maybe. Uh oh. Incoming. Guest, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think the next mission is to deal with him. Uh, let's go ahead and, and place it here, I guess. Uh, we can see that it has its own little zone. Uh, we'll place it right here. That's for everybody to run to if the dinosaur gets loose. Mm -hmm. Yep. Emergency bunker. That's not going to stop the dinosaurs. And I think it goes underground or something, Jinx. The raptors went underground. I think you said that in our last playthrough. <laughs> Jinx never wanted me to ever, you know, call the emergency bunker alarm, you know, to get everybody running to it. Uh, she just wanted to let us, let the dinos eat. All right, let's go and connect this here. We already have gas. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries. Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, Raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. So I don't think, oh, he just ate. Oh, I thought I was gonna rescue him. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get a little message about the ranger teams. Uh, but yeah, I don't think those are guests. I think these are staff. Oh, okay. Oh, man. They do look like they're wearing weird uniforms. Wait! <laughs> Wait, Raptor! Alright, we got him. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to hit him more once, aren't we? Uh -oh, oh, he's angry. Oh, I'm medicating him. My bad. That's oh, another no. thing that has changed, uh, is that there's now multiple, you know, types of ammunition, oh, okay. am ammunition, excuse me. Uh, so you got the uh, medication, 
uh, and the tranquilizer darts, which they had both of those before, but they weren't used in this way. And then, of course, you got the flares. I should have just ordered them to do this. Yeah. Probably would have been a little bit easier. Raptors are kind of hard to hit from what I've seen. Well, they're all nimbly bimbly. Yeah. Not like as easy as the bigger dinos are. All right, and this guy hasn't been. Oh, let me hurry up and get him. Oh, yeah, I thought person. he was. Well, I thought he was gonna oh, jump. Oh no! So I was trying to get him in mid jump. Imagine the paperwork that you have to sign, you know, when <laughs> to you're try onboarding and go here. into this job. Mm -hmm. All right, this time we we'll, we'll, for the last one, we'll just set the ranger team up, guys, to uh, to get the the other raptor. There's another one sitting around here somewhere. Where's he at? He's probably in the underground bunker. <laughs> uh. Okay, I think it's that right that Munching one right on there. People. Yep, he's There's currently much. Alpha. Oh, it's the alpha. We got the alpha the last, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and have the AI take care of this forest, though he's hiding in the forest. Where's he at? Clip. We lost her. Oh yeah, I guess I'm saying it. He, I forgot. The dinos are all she's. Although they might not be at this point. Oh, there it is. Damn, he's quick. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and finally get this done. This is way harder than it needed to be. Hold still. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I gotta say, tranquilize. All right. Come on, <laughs> I can't see him. They got it. Did they? Yeah. Well, I mean, it has the little tranquilizer over its head. Yeah, maybe. All right, so hopefully they're doing it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, uh, while they're taking care of that for us, we're gonna go ahead and get these guys picked up and put back into the raptor Their pen. tiny little raptor cage. Mm -hmm. I feel bad, I almost want to create another pen for him. If I was allowed to, I would. All right, let's go and get these guys picked up. It's like they didn't learn anything. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why we're here, Jinx. To fix this, fix this situation. Because we've seen all the movies. We've seen them all. All right, so where the hell did it go? These things are fast, man. Nimbly bimbly. <laughs> you can't catch me. Uh, I think what it's right there, that? actually. It's right there. You know, we might need to be the one to do this. I don't know that they're going to do this. I don't think it did set them up, Jinx. I, I knew that. there was two. No, I think I didn't. I don't think it worked. Oh, See, if it had worked, you would have okay. saw that. I thought it didn't work. Something had happened. All right, so now they'll take care of it. For, for us? Uh, but... I wish there was a fast forward in this game, man. That'd be really helpful. I'm surprised it's something they didn't add. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. There wasn't a fast forward before? No, I don't think so. I remember th we were talking about that. You know, th that was one of the problems. Uh, mm. They didn't have a fast forward, so like when you're waiting to get money to be able to do something, you're just kind of stuck waiting. Uh, of course, you can't go to like other parks and stuff. Come on, guys, you can do it. <laughs> I don't know. He's not even facing the right way. I know. <laughs> Maybe I should take control of him, man. Well, they had to be careful of the bump. I feel like we would get this done faster than they would. Maybe. We'll just kind of follow along here. The raptor's quick. But they might be able to shoot while driving, which True. is something we can't do. We'll have to see if they can do it or not. Yeah, it's quick. She's it is testing running. testing the fences. Uh-huh. Like you're in a car. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if they'll be able to get her. Yep, oh, now they're closing <laughs> in on her. Come on. Oh, she stopped. <laughs> we might need to do That's this, ridiculous. guys. I don't know if... Uh... I don't think they can drive, period. All right, this is this is taking way too long. Their pathing is a little off. Yeah, let's, let's take care of this, guys. When I did this the first time, I did not have this issue. It was actually pretty easy. Oh. Just run her over, it's fine. Come on! <laughs> oh, I forgot about the gravity. Damn gravity. How dare you. It's a world with dinosaurs. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to have gravity. I over here talk shit about them. Not being able to do it and watch me not be able to do it either. I know, She's right? fast, man. She won't stop for very long. So you got like a split second to, to shoot her. She's going to eat everyone. Maybe we can get out in front of her. Oh, we can't go in the... the people. We can't go in the trees, though. What should we name her? Good grief. Yeah, she's gonna need to name this alpha here. Oh, she's going to the dinos. She found herself some food. Can't blame her for that. Oh, and then she stopped right when I'm... 
not paying attention. She's too clever for you. She's like, I am a bush. Oh, and then she starts going. <laughs> wow. Oh, Lord. Yep, she's going to go eat, guys. You gotta wait for her to feed. Yeah, we're gonna and have to. Shoot her. Oh, yep, she took she took one of those out. Oh, I'm a little bit surprised by, by that. Well, she is the alpha, Jinx. And she's, she's not even gonna not eat even it. She's not even gonna eat it. She's wasting it. Good grief. Yeah, that took way too long. It should not have been that difficult. All right, so that's the whole episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and get her transported out of here. And back to the pen. So our goal now is get everything under control, right? Control? No. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos. Okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, not my sparkling personality then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable, chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations help fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. And with more theatrics and buttered popcorn. <laughs> we all know your vision, John. But the execution? It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. And there is one other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. I think we got all the fences, but I'm not entirely sure. We got a little timer down there for how long we got to keep dinos out of the central area here. But I really like the way they did this, uh, the way this park is created, uh, where they have like this the center area where all the stuff is, and then mm -hmm. they have these open parks all around the side here. What I'm curious is, you'll notice that they have these little rails here, mm -hmm. like in the Jurassic Park movie. I'm wondering if those work, like if you can oh. set those up so that people can, can Ride view in the, the dinos. Jeeps. Yeah. And look at goats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we completed our first mission. Regaining control. And I'm expecting them to start talking to us soon. It's still gonna take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond scientists made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And hiring the wrong people. But now Hammond has the right ones. Us. I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh, do they, huh? People. People like Dr. Rockstar. You know what I could use? Pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll get together a list of specific photos that I need. Never thought I'd be able to take photos of dinosaurs before. That's a first. And Alan, the lens cap? I want actual images. I'll remember this time. So this is one of the new things uh, that the game now has a day and night cycle. Uh, if you guys recall oh. previously, it was, you know, like certain maps were dark for just nighttime mm -hmm. all the time, while other maps were, most of the maps were, were, you know, daylight all the time. It now has an actual day and night cycle, which yeah, is really cool. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, weather is more, uh, you know, uh, variable as well. You know, it's not just, you know, one map is always raining or whatever. Uh, so that's kind of cool. 
Alright, it's been trying to figure out how to do photographs since L1. So I don't know if those are socialized and they look like it. One's Gotta sniffing the other one's butt. butt. Yeah, sniffing each other's butt. I'm going to say they're... worth something. Yeah, the, the Gallimimus are socializing. Will that work? So now we need to find one that's sleeping. And I think that's something Here's new, too. Great shot. I don't think they used to sleep, did they? I don't remember them sleeping, but I don't remember a whole lot. I don't think they did sleep, man. Well, look at all them Gallimimus that are uh, hanging out. There's one sleeping right there. All right, oh, hopefully they don't wake it up. You sure it's sleeping? It's sleeping, Jinx. It's dead to me. It's sleeping. See, mm, okay. sleeping. Uh, we didn't get much money for that one because the head was out of frame. Oh, Whoa. shit! We got attacked, Dude. guys. All right, so that's this whole flare thing. Can we like, uh... All life get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get. Impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering, biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome. One, survival. Two, reproduction. With man, with man, uh, you can add a third, domination. Man? Oh boy. <sighs> All right, anyway, you're not wrong, which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaurs breeding. Well, they've had a free run of the island for a while, so we've got to assume that they've been mating. It would be a recurrence plot. Which is what, exactly? Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly, regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those, or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for uh, works for newlyweds. You know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps, but considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. All right, so I think that was that dino kept attacking because it's the alpha. That's another thing that's new, uh, is that uh, many different types of dinosaurs, including the raptors. And uh, the Triceratops, obviously, and the Stegosaurus, uh, they can have alphas, which is kind of like the leader of the pack, and they seem to be a little bit more aggressive than the other ones, from what I noticed. More protective. And uh, what determines what the alpha is, is their stats. I'm trying to figure out how to, there we go, the dinosaur stats. So the dinosaur rating, uh, I think, is uh, helps determine that or whatever. Uh, you can actually see. Alpha dinosaurs are the socially dominant member of the group. Alpha status is determined by a dinosaur's rating. So. Uh, but yeah, they seem to, to just kind of fight more in general. Uh, be a little bit more aggressive. A bunch of cranky-ass dinosaurs. Uh-huh. All right, so we need to research something, guys. Let's go ahead and get whatever the hell we're supposed to get. I think it's in here. Is uh, he not going to talk to us? Did they not get that voice actor? I don't think he does talk, Jinx. But you know what? Do they really need something else talking to us? Good God. I mean, They no, are so talkative. That was my favorite guy. He, he, was, <laughs> he was pretty awesome. I learned so much. So much about dinosaurs. All right, so about, said about one minute until we get this tech, guys. And uh, that's gonna allow us to stop them from breeding. No fucking allowed. Why do we not want baby dinosaurs? Oh, by the way, I should mention this now. I should have mentioned this earlier, but our, our content is for adults. Uh, so if you don't like uh, cursing or if you are, you know, a child, uh, then this video is not for you. I try and mention that earlier in the episodes, but I did forget in this one. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let this this tech finish up here. Got the little little counter there, but yeah, we can't allow these dinos to breed no more. No more sleeping around. I want baby dinosaurs. I wonder if there are any baby dinos. I imagine not. If they're breeding, they kind of have. Babies. I think we've developed a drug that should inhibit breeding. Dr. Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer it? Well, a ranger team can shoot them with darts while I watch safely and securely from a distance. Do, do these ranger teams ever do ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe they'd make an exception. All right, so we've got to shoot one of each of the five breeds out here with this little dart, and I feel bad about doing this. Yeah. Well, you can't it's have babies. Eat away at its reproductive mm -hmm. system. I don't, I don't think there are any baby dinos. I could be wrong because again, they have added just so much. I was surprised when I was playing 
uh, before we started this video with just how much they added. Right, so let's go ahead and hit this one up. Shoot him in the butt. No babies for you. No babies for you. No babies for this one either. We're going to try and hit it in the neck. Because <laughs> where else would you shoot it? And then, is there anything else close by? There's one. Anyone else want to get shot? Free birth control. Alright, so we got the Triceratops. Gallimimus are like, we are out. Yeah, the Gallimimus, unfortunately, are kind of far away. We love making babies. Mm-hmm. Let's they see if I can too. hit one. They're using strategy. Yep, I see it. Spread out. Uh -huh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Dodged it, guys. All right, we should probably just get closer. You can't. You can't. Gonna They're gonna eat, oh, Jinx. Okay, that's true. That's how you get them. That two hundred thousand dollar bush. Mm-hmm. That's how you get them. Better em. taste bushes. All right. So the last one is the Delos. Oh. And then they're in their own little cage, somewhere over this away. Well, I do like that they lay down. Yeah. The thing. different animations. Yeah. There's a lot more to the dinos. I think they improved it a lot. That's one thing that I loved about this game was like, you know, the animations are very, they seem very realistic. Well, yeah, and the dinos look fantastic, mm -hmm. man. They did, they did a great job. Let me see if we can fill these up over here. Uh, yeah, they did a fantastic job with the game. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I always wanted to return to it, especially because we didn't actually ever do a finale for this did one. We, not? we never did no. a finale. Uh, we always said that we were going to continue because we got through all of the main parks, I want to say. And then we were talking about doing like a sandbox mode or something like that. I do not know where this cage is, guys. We might have to zoom out. I think it's somewhere over this way. Oh, there it is. Awesome looking door. In the rail. But yeah, we uh, we never had a finale. Uh, we always said we were going to, and I think we had like episode 22 or something like that, and then we just never came back or said anything because we were always planning on, on doing it. And then before we knew it, it had just become too long. It had been too far away since we had done a video for the series that we just never did. Now, so that was one other reason why I really wanted to cover one of the DLC. And we had actually asked for one of the previous ones. Uh, we had asked to, to get it for free. They had emailed us, but then we didn't email them back uh, quick enough, so we, they didn't have any more copies, unfortunately. All right, so let's go ahead and Come to apply split this. Face. Come on. There we go. Uh oh. Oh man. It's happening again, Hammond. No, I won't allow it. You may not have that choice, John. Finch, I need to know. Do you have a report? It looks like the computer systems are under attack. John, we're being hacked. Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also affected the power grid. No, no, no. Don't say the gates are open. I won't, but they are. Protection needs to be our top priority for the dinosaurs and the staff. I'm staff, right? Let's get the power grid back. That should help with staff safety. And I am staff, obviously. <laughs> I've got programmers hardening the code as we speak. Finch, you'll help us get the personnel secured. Yes, the personnel, the staff, of which I am unquestionably one. <laughs> all right, so we gotta reboot all of the damn doors, guys. Uh, so we had just done a, a series, I don't know if you, you happen to watch it, but we did a series uh, with the a new game that just came out called uh, Journey to the Savage Planet. And uh, very early in the, the first video, we turned off the uh, the AI that talks to you throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And and there was a reason why we did that, guys. Uh, because we just have a lot of trouble like trying to have any kind of uh, you know, commentary when they're constantly interrupting you. And that's the, this is one reason why we did it, guys. I think this is a perfect example uh, of why I don't like having having the, the commentary on when they when they talk so much. Obviously, it's we needed read. it. Yeah, we obviously needed it for this one. Um, but yeah, I, I think it was the, the good, you know a good idea for us to, to turn that off. Do we need to fix this one? No, we don't. Uh, but yeah, Are that's, they in there? That's why we turned it off, guys, because they're just constantly interrupting. So you like have... A lot of difficulty trying to get any commentary going. That makes it a lot more difficult to edit the videos. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. And then you gotta do all those cuts and shit. And, yeah, it's just pain in the ass. Dinosaur. One quit. of the dinos got out. I was too slow. Was it a raptor? 
Uh, there's something else. Nah, the raptor's in that raptor cage. I don't think that was effective. Let's see. Ah, fuck it. Alright, so there's one thing I missed. I think it's the gate to the to that other area with the dinos in it. Oh, and that's the I dino see. right there. Is it sleeping? He is sleeping. Just oh, came over so here and cute. went to sleep. You gonna get a picture? Oh, oh I guess we can take a picture. This little tail flicking. It's hot. It's a southern bale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we took a picture of it, but yeah, it does look like we have some aggressive dinos that done got out. We have to put this thing to sleep. Okay, well, sleeping dinosaurs. If that's not enough for you, <laughs> then I don't know what is. Oh no! It's, it's getting out of here. <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't all. Sometimes you got to do it more than once. You did shoot it in the finger. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably go fix that before I try and shoot all these dinos, because it looks like it's the Delo cage that's open. Probably should have been the first one that I closed, guys. <laughs> it is really cool driving around like the Jurassic Park. Yeah, I love all the uh, the unique aspects. You know, the unique buildings, unique uh, the, you know, mechanics and stuff that they added for it. Yeah, these gates and stuff. We've identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. You, you've plugged the holes though, right? There's some new counter espionage software that just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, right, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. So true, Jeff Goldblum. All right, so we'll get that research. And then I think we have a, there might be a timer that might pop up. We gotta keep dinos out of this area. Uh, or maybe just we'll fill that once we get the, the D-Lo taken out of here. We can have no more casualties. People aren't gonna wanna work here. Would you risk being eaten by a dinosaur to work at Jurassic Park? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that I would want to work there, but I would certainly go visit. I don't know if I'd bring our kids, though. <laughs> I mean, like, you'd want them to see a dino, but... you seen what happened to the kids in, in these movies, man. It's arrived, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they don't kill any of the kids. The but kids that's because safe. it's movies, Jinx. In real life, the kids die. What is it that I need to do? Is there a dino in here that I missed? No. No. It just says ensure no dino can access. Is everything closed? Maybe it just takes a little while. I just gotta wait, wait a second. Perhaps. I don't know. But it feels like we've completed this objective, guys. Uh, but I, I really like that they have the, the helipad, the arrival helipad now. I don't know if that's in the you know the regular base game if you're not playing with the Jurassic Park stuff on because uh, you can turn that on you don't have to play uh, you know this campaign mode to do mm -hmm. the Jurassic Park stuff we do have a timer by the way uh, but yeah if you wanted to to play with all the Jurassic Park stuff rather than Jurassic World uh, things and the Jurassic you know park mechanics and and uh, you know buildings and all that kind of good dinosaurs and all that good stuff you can do that in like a regular sandbox mode if you want to and I really like the helipad. I think it's a little bit better than that train thing. It's a little bit easier to yeah. place. And you can kind of put it like right in the middle of your your park. So I like that. But is everyone really going to ride the helicopter? It seems expensive. And then I like that the, the visitor center has all the stuff in it. You know, with the fossils and the expeditions and the research. Before you had to have a, a building for each one of those. So it's kind of nice that it's all here in this I'm one building. I'm satisfied with the latest reports on park security. Now... We can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island, Isla Son. But this is right here as far as I got, guys. Uh, so I didn't actually come to this area here, uh, to this the second island and it did take me a little bit longer than it's taken us just because uh, our son was watching as I was playing so he wanted to see all the dinos
We call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? It's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive on Isla Nublar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. For now, we focus on the job at hand. Cabot. Yes, sir, Mr. Hammond. So, I think we'll need a new base of operations. Ranger outpost and visitor center, maybe? Would make a good headquarters. Alright, so now we're getting into the, you know, building our own park stuff here. Like, Where we actually we get, get the place. I don't know. Uh, again, this is this is the farthest I've gotten, so I don't I don't know what happens. But I think we're gonna place this right here just because I like the view, man. Yeah, me too. So like when you come on the helicopter, you'll land right outside. here. Of course not. We're in the dark as much as you are, Dr. Malcolm. Who knows? Maybe it's just our inferior brains that can't cope with chaos. Hmm. Well, uncertainty, you know, can be a guiding light. Chaos is about the unexpected, and uh, that's what uh, that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm here because of the dinosaurs. And because of the lovely Dr. Sattler, if I'm not mistaken. That's really not any business of yours. All right, so we have four buildings we need to place. Ranger Outpost, Visitor Center, uh, the Arrival Health Pad, and the Power Station. Let's go and get these placed here. I don't really know. I should probably take a look. I'm just throwing stuff around. <laughs> uh, so, all right, so we actually have dinos here already. Okay, so we got some dinos over here. All right, so this is an interesting yeah, map here. Yeah, so we made a couple gates there. Mm -hmm. All right, we got this here. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start replacing these. I think the dinos will probably stay in their area, right? For now. So let's go and get the uh, the power situation handled first. They'll all move to the center at the same time. Probably. Yep. You already know they will. Yeah, I'm going to try and place it. I'm going to try and place it dino. here, guys. Jinx was a dino. <laughs> send out my dino call. Can we hear your dino call, Jinx? No. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of dino that is, guys. That's a Jinx's tower. <laughs> uh, let's get some paths here. Uh, that was great. Jinx. He wants to be in my herd. <laughs> it was great, man. I liked it. I'll, I'll be, be in my herd. I'll be in your herd, Jinx. <laughs> I'm the leader. <laughs> uh, so let's get this connected here. And, uh... I don't even know what I'm doing here, guys. <laughs> We're just kind of a winging it. Well, there's different kinds of paths. Uh, well, these are the same path. I don't think they changed anything in the past. You got the cheap path. Oh, the, I see. The normal path and then the fancy path. Oh, fancy. Yeah. I do remember now. Yeah, you got to pay for the fancy paths because they're fancy. All right, so we got that placed. Uh, we still need the ranger outpost. And we need the arrival helipad. Oh, shit. Well, I thought that was the... All right, well, now the arrival pad helipad's got to be right here. Oh, I thought that was it too. Yeah, I thought they would fly in right here and then get this beautiful view, but it's not the case. Uh, that's right. So we should probably go and get the arrival helipad placed next to it then. Right here. Before we go spending all of our money. Oh, okay. We'll place it like this. We got plenty of money. We got two point one million dollars, Jinx. That's We're not good. enough in this game. All right, Jinx. We got this. Apparently, keeping dinosaurs is pricey. Right, this placed is close. As the clan. So that you hop out of the chopper and then fall off. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Off you, cliff. you know, you know how we're trying to do this. To Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's fitting. <Wow. laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and place uh, this here. Like a four-way path. Oh, you can only that's right, you can only drag it so far. That's just lovely. And then you gotta redo it here. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna fix that, guys. I don't like the way that was. 
Let's demolish that. And uh, go back. Do it from out here. Oh, we got some rain. Jinx, it's raining. I right, do so love we can't... the environment and the changes to it. That's what's gonna have to hook. Never mind. I did leave that for nothing. There we go. Yeah, I love like the weather changes and mm -hmm. the you know the day night cycle. It All just it looks very really nice. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of improvements to it, guys. All right, so we need to get the substation so we'll actually have some power here. Uh, so let's place this where it powers both of these buildings. That's the deal anyway. And then we'll need to. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna place it somewhere in the middle so we don't get some weird look to it. Ta-da! All right, so we need to get a path. The reason why none of these are connected yet, guys, is because we don't have the path going to this. The little nublet of sidewalk. Mm-hmm. The road. All right, so there we go. And we still need the ranger outpost as well. Let's go ahead and get that constructed. Well, these dinosaurs are very well behaved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the herbivores are all, all, all good, man. It's just, yeah. it's just the, uh... The cool dinosaurs. Eating veggies. Too cool for herbivores school. Herbivores are cool too. Some of them are, yeah. Some of the best dinosaurs are in fact herbivores. Like the stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is pretty cool. Triceratops is pretty cool too. What dinosaurs do we have? I guess while that builds. Well, we can take a look. Such. We got some stegosauruses and there's the alpha. Uh, we'll see what else we have. Okay, Parasaur. we got the parasaurus. Yeah. And, or, or, well, we call it parasaurs. That is not a parasaur. Parasaur waffles. <laughs> what did you say? Parasaur <laughs> waffle? <laughs> parasaur waffles. Uh, let's see. We, I know we had some more dinos over this way somewhere. Got waffles, guys. Oh, we got the packies. Oh, I thought it was a baby. We got the packies, guys. So these ones are, uh... I wonder if they ram heads. Where's the alpha? I'm sure they do some head ramming. That's the alpha right there. Oh. So I was looking at them. I don't know, that one seems to be challenging him. I don't oh, know, man. Yeah. They're certainly... They're either gonna mate, or fight. Or nothing. Ignore each other. <laughs> oh, she's presenting herself. Well, yeah, they're all she's. <laughs> you want a snaggle? <laughs> yeah, I want a snaggle. Oh, wow. This seems a little bit more in-depth than it was before. I don't know, maybe I'm just forgetting. Again, it has been a while since we played the game, guys. Uh, I can't believe we stayed away from it this long, honestly. I forgot I really liked it. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, the path. Oops. So that we can complete this stupid quest. All right, and- What is that building? The we don't have power. Thing? Ah, shit. I didn't think about that when I did this, guys. This will need its own substation then as well. Oops. So my bad. We didn't do this the best way. I forgot about. Is that not a power plant? It, that is a power plant, but it doesn't like spread the power. You oh, have to actually have a substation to do that. Uh, well, we got some overlap there. We could always put it like in the back so this will power something else. I suppose, though. I don't know if that will. I probably won't be able to go to it if I do it that way. Ah, whatever. I don't care. If you are OCD about placement, <laughs> bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we complete the mission. We need to test our breeding countermeasure on Isla Sorna's wild dinosaur population. Okay, Ellie, I've identified a suitable group of dinosaurs. Let's isolate them from the rest to perform tests. All right, so they want us to isolate the stegosaurus from the other dinosaurs. So can we keep them wild? Do we? Can we just move them to like another area, or do we have to? Oh, what the like fuck? fence them off. Yeah, are we gonna have to fence them off? I'm thinking oh, okay. we probably There's... gotta fence them off, but and we could just put them over here and see if that works. Or we can have a little testing facility here that we just build temporarily to hold the stegos. Is that what you wanna do, James? Well, can't you just put like a little gate across that area? Well, the idea that and all the dinosaurs are gonna be there. I mean, I guess you could try and gate them in, but I don't know. I don't know how well that would work. They're kind of all mixed in. And, you know, you got stegos all roaming on their own. And I don't know. I don't think that's the best way to do it. I think you're going to have to force them into an area. 
and it wants us to isolate it. So how far away do they need to be to be isolated? Oh, I see. And then there's two different interpretations of that. One, it could be that they need to be a certain distance from each other, and it could be that they need to be encaged. So if we put them in cages over here, then that satisfies both of those. And uh, we are kind of, the episode's getting long here, so we're going to have to end it soon. Uh, so I think we should do the way that They're we know for pants. sure. He just going to have a field day. <laughs> Dinosaurs don't belong in cages. Yeah, did you know they don't even want you to call your pets pets anymore? I said, let's stop this calling dinosaurs pets thing. I want a little baby dinosaur. Or just stop calling <laughs> your, your animals pets. Which is strange. Like, why can't we call them pets? Like, is they consider that disrespectful? Yeah. It implies ownership. Oh. Okay. You're enslaving the critters. Another advantage of putting the cage here, Jinx, is that if we want it to be an electric cage, we would have had to bring the electricity way over there. Uh, so that would have been a pain uh, in the ass. True. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and place this somewhere. We'll place it on this side, I guess. Alright, now this we need to get... This triceratops like to bash. Mm -hmm. Escape. Do they really? Are they not in this? Ugh, are they just outside of it? That's just incompetence on my part. <laughs> You know what, guys? We could fix this really easily by just deleting this and extending it a bit. So that it'll get the, the power all across it, I think, anyways. We'll just bring it all... Oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> uh, we want the fence. Yeah, if we just brought it in here, I'm wondering if this will, will work, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm probably Yeah, it did. You can see. Area. You can see it already worked. Yep. Ta-da! And so now we just need to get a gate. Then we'll have to go take those dinos out, man. Oh, that's right. We gotta knock them out, huh? Mm -hmm. I was thinking we we're gonna, like, you know, herd them like cattle. <laughs> get on our ponies. Well, I guess you wouldn't ride a pony. You'd ride a dinosaur. Since these guys are incompetent, we'll do it ourselves. Uh, because this will take forever. And yeah, we gotta ride the dinos. Why Jinx. are we not riding dinos Why are right we now? not riding dinos? That should be something in the game. Alright, so I think it's right down this way. You're gonna fly off the cliff. Right I don't now. think you can go off the cliff. Makes me try. Nope. Oh, it stops you? <laughs> yeah. Puts on the brakes? Yeah. Well, that's good. I don't think you can leave the uh, the area, so like if I tried to go up here, I think it'd stop me too. You're like, nope, stay on the path. Yeah, you've got like this little area uh, that you're allowed to go to. And that is all, folks. It's so beautiful. It is, it's gorgeous, like right now. I just crossed it. Like, yeah, I should have been able to drive right there, but because it's not considered part of the map, we can't. All right, so let's go ahead and put these stegos down. Try not to die while doing it. And we want to tranquilize them. And they're just hanging out at the watering hole. And here I am harassing them. Shooting them in the booty. And I guess we'll take that guy out. <laughs> oh, I hit something. I don't know what it was. You get knocked out, though. And... There's two down. Uh-oh, that one's not gonna oh. drain, Oh, is shit! It? I think one's about to attack me. Like, stop shooting my friend! Must be the alpha. Come on. Come on. Where is he at? Alright, so that should put him down. I think you had to hit these guys twice. Maybe if you shot him in the head. Oh! Whoa. We got attacked. Dang, they do a lot of damage. Uh-oh, uh -oh. get out of there. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't go back either. That'd take too damn long. It's gonna have we gotta to get them all? I think so. It said isolate the group of Stegosaurs. They're dinosaurs, not Pokemon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh! oh shit, yeah, you're gonna shit. die. Nah, I think you fell, fell asleep right, right in time. Oh, I think we got them all right. I could be wrong. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and start getting them picked <laughs> up, guys. Damn, that ranger team ain't doing well. No, they need right. to go take a break. You can have a 15 minute break to oh. recuperate. I wish you could multi select, that'd be nice. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Get a bulldozer out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because they, they have multiple helicopters that will come and pick them up. 
Just shoveling dinos. Nothing to see <laughs> here. <laughs> All right, so let's go and get this guy over here. How many are there? Six? I think there's six of these dinos. All right. I knew I'd been shooting tranks like crazy. So we got two more to go. Yeah, so I think they'll they'll bring as many helicopters as you need. It'd just be nice if you could auto select or you know uh, multi select, so you didn't have to do it this way because it's kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so let's get this last dino over here. And voila! My voila sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they are now. All on their way over there. Stegosauruses are en route. And this should uh, complete the quest, hopefully. We might need to improve their pen as well. I don't know if that's going to be a requirement to make them happy. Because it's tiny and weird and we, we don't, don't have even, any water. Yeah, we don't have any water. We should probably... We would we'll give them some water now because we might use this in the future uh, for something. Uh, I think that's on terrain. Landscaping. And water. Let's just put it... <laughs> A little tiny watering hole. Yep, a little patch of water right there. That's all they need. Asset delivery confirmed. Alright. Now they're delivering him. And what we can do is grab one up and, and see if he likes it or not. I mean, he's still trying to wake up. He's after a, bit a night groggy. of hard drinking. <laughs> he's been drinking whiskey. Like, oh my god, why is my butt sore? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what happens, you don't use enough loot. Uh, so, I think he needs some forest, guys. He's happy he has his friends, though. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get uh, forest going, because, yeah, I imagine these guys have a, a high social requirement. All right, well, let's place the forest in the back here so people can see Confirm the dinos. That's probably good. Maybe. No. No? He nope. needs more? Yep, I didn't think that would be enough. They like forest, Jinx. Do they? I think that they would have a hard time maneuvering. Yeah, with those tails. I agree. And they're fat. Well, that was rude, Jinx. <laughs> Just saying. All right, let's see how they like it now. There we go. Just we have there. satisfied their forest requirement. All right, so they are happy, though we don't have food for them. Uh, are we still waiting for a dino? What the hell's going on here? I see that there's a little mark there. Uh, yeah, where's the fucking dino? Yeah, we're still waiting on one. I see the oh, okay. chopper. Maybe you, can only, maybe you do have a limited number of choppers. Five, I guess. They're communicating. They're like, right. what the hell, Steve? I have no idea what happened. Yeah, this one's still waking up. The alpha is still waking up. And he went to sleep. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. Okay, I got it's it. It's good night. I wouldn't think that stegos would lay on their side like that. I wouldn't think so either. I well, think I think they'd be more like cows. You know, mm -hmm. cows sleep standing up. I would think so as well, considering you know that they have the the but spikes here, and they're so adorable. They're so huge and heavy. I mm -hmm. imagine they'd, they'd have difficulty themselves. getting up. Yeah, I think they'd probably sleep standing up. It'd be wrong, or like, or maybe uh, where they sleep on their belly or something like that. I was wrong about rabbits though. They just <laughs> throw themselves <laughs> over on their side. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't know we have it's a crazy. we got a pet rabbit last summer. Uh, for I say for the kids, but it was for me. Jinx wanted a critter. <laughs> it's a mock critter. So we got a got a bunny. All right, so that should complete the quest, and I guess we can give them food because it looks like they, they might be hungry. I don't know if any of this is actually required. Uh, we're gonna do it anyway. Where the hell like is they that? They have grass on the Close. ground. Yeah, well, they need the feeders, Jinx. They need the fancy, expensive trees. We're administering the breeding countermeasure through the feeders. This is a huge step forward from the previous injection method. And Mr. Hammond wants to make sure this works. We'll observe the affected dinosaurs until we can confirm the effectiveness of the treatment. If this works, we won't have to trank the dinosaurs as much. That'll help with their anxiety as well. A prehistoric animal has to be confused when it's being chased by a vehicle. I mean, what point of reference could it possibly have? I really hadn't thought about it that way before. They're as afraid of us as we are of them. If, if I were afraid. Fear is a survival instinct, Cabot. Any animal without it won't be around long. <laughs> then I should be around forever. <laughs> All right, so we actually did need to give them feeders, so we got that going. Uh, there's a little timer here for, for how long we have to 
have the feeders. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and pause it here because it is, unfortunately, the end of the episode, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, return to what's well, called Return to Jurassic Park, but I guess it's Return to Jurassic World Evolution for us on the channel here after a year and a half since the last series ended. And uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking the expansion. Uh, again, I don't... I, I like the, the building the park a little bit more than doing, like, the, the quest line yeah, here. Yeah, where they guide you. Yeah, I, I like the, you know, just the freedom of that a little bit better. Uh, but I do think it'll probably open up more as we continue through the story. I, I expect that they'll allow us to, to do a bit more building since that's kind of the big, you know, theme of this game. Uh, so, yeah, I do expect it to open up a, a little bit later. I don't like all the talking. I mean, it's great for when you're playing single player story missions. Um, you know, when you're when you're doing it on your own uh, without putting this on YouTube, uh, doing a, a Let's Play series. I mean, it gives you something to listen to as you play. Uh, but yeah, in the Let's Play, uh, it's required us to stop talking a lot, and I never know when the hell we're allowed to talk. <laughs> yeah, they've been they're very very chatty. But it is nice that they did get the original actors. Yeah, because they couldn't get the Jurassic World uh, actors. Uh, they, yeah. they only had. Uh, all they had was Jeff Goldblum, I think, on the last yeah. one. Well, they had uh, Dr. Wu. Uh, oh, they yeah, had hit right. the actor who plays him. But yeah, they didn't have a lot of the uh, original ca or actual cast. And uh, it always kind of throws you off because they're trying to pretend to be that that person, but they don't they don't sound right. I feel like the John Hammond voice actor is doing a pretty good job. He did okay, I suppose. I do hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And make sure to leave a comment. We do read and reply to all comments. Love talking to you guys. Uh, if you're looking for anything to watch uh, while you wait for episode 2 to come out, which we will be having episode 2 on Monday. Uh, I know we don't usually have uh, videos on Monday, uh, but we're going to record an uh, episode 2 right after this so that we can have a Monday episode so we don't put a video out and then you know not have another one for a couple days. Uh, so yeah, the episode two will be on Monday, and if you're looking for something to watch while you wait for it, then check out the front page of our channel, find 2,000 something videos all sorted by genre, should be able to find something that you'd enjoy, and if you didn't watch that Jurassic World Evolution series, then maybe check that out, we had a lot of fun with it, uh, it was a uh, uh, 22 videos, pretty long series, and yeah, we had a good time with it. If you're looking for any links, then check down in the description of any of our videos, you'll find links to our PayPal and Patreon if you'd like to support our channel as well as a link to our store on Teespring if you'd like to pick up some P plus J swag. Uh, also, we have links to our Twitter and Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to follow us on there, and links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. Uh, so that is going to be it for this one. We'll see you on Monday for Episode 2, and thanks for watching, guys.